Elon Musk's Optimus humanoid robot is so futuristic that even many investors have written it off from day one, seeing it as just another pie-in-the-sky project. Skeptics argue that humanoid robots belong in the realm of science fiction, decades away from reality, even in the most optimistic scenarios. Ironically, they also worry about the jobs these robots might take from humans, a paradoxical stance. Elon Musk envisions Optimus contributing tens of trillions of dollars to Tesla's market cap, an almost unfathomable value compared to today's largest companies. To realize this vision, Tesla is investing billions of dollars into infrastructure and projects related to Optimus and fortifying its technological foundations, or something that Elon Musk calls a tech tree. The rate of progress has been nothing short of stunning. In less than three years since Tesla introduced the dancing Optimus in a costume, the company has begun deploying a small number, just two robots in its factory, and has big plans to start mass production within the next two years. Elon Musk predicts that there will eventually be at least one Optimus bot per human on the planet. He believes Tesla's proven track record and current capabilities position it not only to bring this vision to fruition, but also to become the undisputed leader in the new field of humanoid robots. And before we continue, stop using Yahoo Finance, stop using Google Finance, and have a look at our website, themarketisopen.com, where we have instant stock quotes and quarterly financial data going back up to 15 years, and it's all freely available. A humanoid robot is both easy to build and impossible to build. No one thinks that Tesla can do it but they have massive faith in startups and projects that have suddenly popped up, touting their new electric robots. Boston Dynamics, for example, has decades of experience using hydraulic systems in order to maneuver its Atlas robot. Only after Tesla launched Optimus has Boston Dynamics released footage of its new electric Atlas prototype. The company is focused on mechanical excellence and advanced movement capabilities, However, these are automated rather than Tesla's strategy of aiming to be autonomous. Boston Dynamics also lacks a clear mission statement for a large-scale business, which may be one reason why the company has never truly entered mass production. Contrary to Tesla, which is building Optimus with scale in mind from the ground up, Elon Musk reiterated again at Tesla's 2024 annual shareholder meeting that prototypes are easy production is hard. Beyond Boston Dynamics, new robot startups have quickly put together something that looks like Optimus, but they're all really missing some of the core ingredients that Tesla has built up over many years and has combined into a powerful technology tree that makes it extremely difficult to compete with Tesla. At Tesla's annual shareholder meeting, Elon Musk reminded investors that Tesla had to build and design every part of the robot from scratch. However, Tesla isn't exactly starting from square one. That's where their tech tree comes into play. They have experience building efficient motors, gearboxes, sensors, power electronics, and communication systems, all of which shows up within Tesla's vehicles, but needs to be adapted for this smaller bipedal robot. Tesla already has deep knowledge in these areas and a strong team with plenty of experience and resources it might be difficult to find this combination at some random startup. Also keep in mind that many people think Elon Musk is crazy for introducing this product, which simply means that no one else has really thought about it and therefore it further lacks competition in a major way. Now that said, there are some Chinese players that adapt very quickly and do have manufacturing expertise. Elon Musk even says that in order for Tesla to capture the value from Optimus, they need to be first and they need to move very quickly, which is one reason why he's putting billions into this project, has a huge team and is taking it very seriously. There's no supply chain at all for humanoid robot parts, and so Tesla's working to build that out as an addition to their tech tree, which will enable them to scale, which is key. You can have a great robot, but if you can't get it out to many consumers, then you won't gain share and won't capture the economic value. Now the hardware is only half the story. Tesla is busy building out massive data centers filled with not only NVIDIA chips, but also with their homegrown Dojo supercomputer. 
These are steps taken in order to ensure that Tesla is a leader in real-world AI, which will end up being Optimus' brain. And interestingly, there's immense overlap between full self-driving and Optimus, where Tesla already has a business model, believe it or not, for FSD, where they actually make money off the product today by selling it, and they're on the precipice of launching a robo-taxi network in the coming years. So these major investments in AI, machine learning, and massive data centers is justified for the FSD business, but will also be used for the robot business. It costs billions of dollars to build a data center, and so that once again increases the barriers to entry. Another major part of Tesla's tech tree is their inference computer, which is found inside every vehicle, and again is proprietary and designed in-house. It also needs to run very efficiently within the vehicle, which is already perfect for Optimus's set of requirements. The whole point being here that Tesla has what it takes to actually develop this Optimus product, whereas other companies claim to be ahead, but it's difficult to see how they will ultimately scale. Also, just as an aside, in my last video where we talked about Tesla's plans to leverage and monetize the inference chip inside each Tesla by processing external workloads, someone in the comments mentioned that Optimus will also contain an inference chip which will contribute to this initiative. So when Elon Musk was talking about having 100 million Teslas on the road, contributing to this distributed inference network, and yet there's only 6 million cars in the fleet today, it's hard to see how it would grow to 100 million. But if robots will be manufactured faster than cars and are incremental to cars, then Elon Musk's 100 million Teslas could be any type of Tesla, and Optimus may get him to that 100 million number faster than anyone thinks. The inference computer will also be undergoing major upgrades over the next 18 months, which makes this inference idea from my last video even more interesting, and will also enhance the capabilities of Optimus. Hardware 3 is in most vehicles and is far from being maxed out. It's capable of running FSD as we see today. It runs the neural nets no problem. Hardware 4 has been going into some vehicles for about a year now, and it's roughly five times better than Hardware 3. And then in 18 months, Hardware 5 comes out. Tesla is now calling it AI5, which is expected to outperform Hardware 4 by a factor of 10 times. Elon Musk is surprisingly comparing it to a B-class NVIDIA chip, which is a data center chip that has dedicated power lines going to it. Hardware 5 or AI5 is meant to essentially be portable, inside a vehicle or robot. So this sounds insane. And if you think about this compounded 50 times increase over what most people have today in their Teslas, and some variant of this hardware will be going into Optimus, the entire future fleet of robots will in aggregate be ridiculously powerful. And that's just in the next 18 months. What about in the next five to 10 years from now? And so I think Tesla's tech tree is drastically underestimated while competitors with flashy demos are simply being overestimated. Now at Tesla's AI day in 2022, Optimus couldn't even walk. Now it can walk, a little like Joe Biden, but I think for the first time they've shown it working in the factory autonomously, doing a basic useful task, loading up batteries into a tray. And in one of the impressive scenarios, it makes a mistake and then corrects itself. We've also seen Optimus fold laundry, so that was more automated rather than autonomous, and Elon Musk is saying that the next generation of hands will allow the robot to play the piano. That will make for some awesome demos, especially with speed and precision, piano could be very impressive. We also got confirmation from Elon, which I was sort of hoping for as I've mentioned in the previous videos, that people will be able to talk to Optimus to give it commands or even show it how to do something and it will do the thing you showed it. That's a significant step to being a generalized robot, and it can also learn by watching videos, which is essentially the same thing, but you might get even more variety or be able to train it like an expert. But this is sort of the killer app in getting Optimus to do something useful in virtually any scenario. And so the rate of advancements have been nothing short of stunning. And if you extrapolate this exponential curve over the next few years, you can see that Tesla will have a very capable robot 
just in time when it begins to scale. This brings us to the market opportunity for investors. Last year, I made a video discussing how even though Optimus wasn't in production yet, it made sense to begin incorporating some portion of the present value of its future cash flows into its current valuation. It was clear that Tesla was moving forward with this project in a big way, and even a basic skill set relative to a human could help in factories or stores or in homes and provide tremendous value. This reflection in the stock price hasn't happened at all yet, and even investment firm ARK Invest, which has been predicting that autonomous driving and Tesla's full self-driving robo-taxi network will account for the majority of Tesla's valuation in the trillions, but they have not even factored in Optimus at all. Arguably, Optimus may be even easier to deploy. FSD is a critical system. If it fails to make a proper driving decision, vehicles can crash and people can get killed, so it needs to be flawless. But Optimus can start off folding laundry, cleaning houses, even doing simple or tedious tasks at a factory, which is all fairly low risk. If it screws up, it's not a huge deal. And that may actually be a good thing for Optimus to get some real world experience and make mistakes so that it can be trained and updated to be better and more accurate. But it doesn't look like anyone is really factoring this in, especially investors. And this seems to be a common trend throughout Tesla's history, where the stock price stays flat for long periods of time, as investors are in wait and see mode. But then at a certain point, Tesla hits some milestone that convinces investors that, hey, we might have something here. And then the stock explodes higher in a short period of time to sort of catch up to its intrinsic valuation, which typically dumbfounds people on the sidelines. Elon Musk has told us what to expect, even though many people make the mistake of not believing him, although it's typically a question of when rather than if. Interestingly, from an investment standpoint, it doesn't really matter if Tesla is so-called late if there's no one else really competing with them. Next year, Elon Musk plans to deploy a thousand or a few thousand Optimus robots within Tesla's factory. This will be like a scene from Westworld. In order for Tesla to eat its own dog food and make Optimus actually useful for factory tasks. For reference, if Boston Dynamics is one of the leaders in robotics, given their 30 plus year history, they've sold just over a thousand spot robot dogs which were announced in 2016 and made available for sale to consumers in 2020 for $75,000 US apiece. Spot is not autonomous, but rather can be automated to do certain tasks. People don't think that Tesla can surpass Boston Dynamics, but if Tesla plans to deploy a thousand autonomous robots next year, and then the year after begin scaling potentially a $20,000 robot, which Elon Musk claims to be able to build for $10,000, that's much less cost prohibitive with huge margins and is much more functional for end consumers compared to an automated robot dog. Elon Musk is thinking big here, predicting that the global market for humanoid robots will translate to one or more robots per human, so roughly 10 billion or 20 billion robots, with a global build rate of 1 billion units per year. He thinks that Tesla can harness 10% market share or even more which would ultimately be 100 million units per year. And for reference, he points to the auto industry, which sells a total of 100 million units per year, maybe closer to 80 million, but he thinks Tesla can do that in robots alone. At $10,000 in gross profit per robot times 100 million robots, that's a trillion dollars in profits from robot hardware sales. With a 25 times price to earnings ratio, he says, Optimus is a $25 trillion market cap situation, which he then adds incrementally to a $5 to $10 trillion market cap for full self-driving and robo-taxis. These are pretty crazy numbers, but I don't think they're fully correct, and they would also occur very far into the future to get to that level of production. In my last Optimus video, we discussed that if instead Optimus is sold for its economic value related to the tasks provided, then it can be far more valuable and therefore profitable. For instance, paying per hour for Optimus yielded a $10 trillion valuation just from the sale of 1.5 million robots, an aggressive but much more reasonable number. And Elon Musk does seem to be on board with this business model, 
just recently stating that Optimus will be both rented out and sold for hardware, but with the ability to rent it coming first. However, in either case, we seem to be leaving out services revenue or some sort of app store, which I think will add even more high margin revenue. Tesla already does this today, selling FSD or subscriptions or charging even after delivering its vehicles sold for its hardware cost. If you look at Apple, they make most of their revenue from hardware, but services has now ballooned to roughly a quarter of the company's revenue and it's all high margin software. Optimus is the perfect platform for this business model, since developers can build and sell their own AI models and companies have lots of proprietary data that they can use to train Optimus with. And so it looks like that even without coming close to the 100 million robot per year target that Elon Musk wants to build, creating unique apps, essentially giving Optimus a new skill and renting Optimus out for its time, as Elon Musk does plan to do, can add tremendous value in the trillions without even considering massive hardware sales. The valuations begin to get fairly absurd. Elon Musk is predicting $25 trillion just for Optimus's hardware sales. However, critics out there are saying that it makes no sense that Tesla can grab roughly 25% of the world's $100 trillion GDP. First off, market cap and GDP are two different things. GDP has to do with consumption, and no one is consuming market cap. The actual revenue on Optimus would be much lower, $2 trillion in the example above, which is only 2% of GDP and requires 100 million robots per year, which could take years to ramp up to. Also, GDP can grow. It tripled in the 20 years between the years 2000 and 2020. So today's GDP should not be compared with a future world with humanoid robots. Additionally, as Elon Musk has been saying, the concept of an economy and GDP begins to break down with this new type of robotic humanoid resource. So what do you think Optimus will be worth to Tesla's market cap? And how should investors be looking at its valuation today? Do you think that Tesla has the right technology tree to become the leader in AI robots? Or do you see another company that has the right ingredients to take the lead? Don't forget to watch my last video on the multi-billion dollar potential of Tesla's distributed inference chips. Please hit the like button and subscribe, we would really appreciate that. And a huge shout out to all of our patrons that help to support our channel. Your support helps us to continue to make great content. Thank you guys so much for watching.